Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at text wrap options in Illustrator. But before we begin, I want to introduce you to some of my other Illustrator training. I teach at udemy.com and in the description below are some coupons for you for those classes. The coupons will give you at least as good a deal as Udemy offers. And in many cases, the deal that I have is even better than the current Udemy offering. That's the same for Skillshare. I teach at Skillshare and below you'll find a coupon link for Skillshare. And what I can offer you is at least as good as what Skillshare will offer from time to time. And oftentimes my deal is even better. So let's swing back to Illustrator, have a look at this document that we're going to be working with. Now the anatomy of the document is that I have a layer up at the top that just contains the title. And then I have a layer that contains three objects. I'm just going to turn these objects on. I've got a leaf here that is a traced leaf image. I opened up a leaf image that I downloaded from unsplash.com in Photoshop. I isolated the leaf and removed the background and I saved the file as a ping file, a PNG file that has transparency in it. I bought the transparent image into Illustrator by choosing file and then place. I made sure it was an embedded image and I dragged it out into the Illustrator document. Because it was a bitmap image, I then traced it with the image trace command. So what I've ended up with once I expanded my trace is a vector shape. This leaf is a vector image. But because the leaf is very complex and sometimes it's a little bit difficult to get word wrap to work on a very complex image, I also created something else. And that was a leaf shape identical to this one that is just a solid shape and it's filled with red color. The way I did that was to duplicate this group and then go and merge all the little pieces that went to make up my leaf into a single shape. And I can use that as my text wrap. So sometimes if you have a really complex image, you may want to do that. And you also may want to do that if you've got an image that you want to leave as a bitmap, you might want to create an object that is the same shape as the bitmap object that you want to wrap around so that you can use that because the wrapping is going to take place on a vector shape. You have to have a vector shape for this to work. You can't have a bitmap image. So let's work with this particular shape and we're going to use it as a text wrap. So I'm going to place it just above the text object. So this text object is this one here. All I did was go to the type tool, drag out a box. So I clicked and dragged to drag out a box and then I typed my text. Well, I actually copied and pasted it from a site called lipsum, lipsum.com, which is where you can get this lorem ipsum text, which is filler text, just saves you having to type something yourself. So this is area type in Illustrator, area type being very different to point type. With area type, I can just resize the box. The type itself isn't changing size, but the box is changing the overall shape of the text. Well, what I want to do is to wrap it around this leaf. So let's target the leaf shape and then we'll go to object text wrap make. Now this is confusing for two reasons. Firstly, you might think that all the type options are on the type menu, but they're not. This text wrap is on the object menu. And also you might think if you want to wrap text that you need to select the text while well, you don't. You're just going to select the shape around which you want to wrap the text. So we'll just click make. And Illustrator has now wrapped this text around this leaf shape. And there is a spacing here we can control that spacing as to how far the text is pushed away from the leaf by targeting the leaf again and going to object text wrap and then we'll go to text wrap options. At the moment, my text wrap is set to 15, but you could increase or decrease that as you want to make it a larger wrap amount. So pushing the text further away from the image itself. So I'll just click OK. And now the text is pushed a bit further away from the image. Now this is a live effect. So if I move the leaf shape, then the text is going to move appropriately. So it's going to be wrapped around the leaf. And because I don't want to use this actual leaf itself, I want to use this one here, then I'm going to just go and move this one over the top of the other one. So it's covering it up. 
And so this one, the compound path is just single path is doing all the pushing work. And this one here is just being the show pony. It's just showing what the effect is going to look like. So what's happened here is that my text has overflowed. So I need to make my box a little bit bigger to get the rest of the text back in. I'm a little bit worried about this piece of text here. So I would need to shrink down my text box probably to take that into account. So moving the text around just gives me a slightly different and oftentimes better result. Now, as we were working with this text wrap option, you may have seen another option that we didn't look at, which is invert wrap. Just want to cancel out of here and let's have a look at that. First of all, I'm going to turn off and lock down the leaf because we're not using that leaf as our wrap object. The wrap object is this compound path. So first of all, I'm going to decrease the wrap amount on this. So I'll choose object text wrap text wrap options. I'm going to set the wrap value to zero this time and I'm going to click invert wrap and click OK. And then I'm going to turn off the color inside this leaf because that's covering up my text right now. So I'll set the fill to none. And what's happening this time is that instead of the text being pushed away by the leaf, the text is being encapsulated by the leaf. So if we go to the leaf itself, not the text, just the leaf and place it back over the type, then the text is going to be wrapped into the leaf. So you could achieve an interesting text effect this way. You mightn't do it with paragraphs of text that have spacing between them. You might do it with just a solid piece of text and probably even in some type that was unreadable so that you just get the hint of a leaf shape of text. But that's just a formatting issue. And of course, if you want to undo this effect at any time, you can just go back to your leaf or whatever it is that you're using as this push out of the way object and choose object text wrap and then release. And that's going to undo the effect entirely. And so you're going back to just having your regular shapes rather than a shape which is pushing text out of the way or encapsulating the text. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something about Illustrator of which you were previously unaware. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so that you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And until next time, my name is Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.